easy. It's pretty easy this morning. There's a good reason for you to be here this morning besides everybody hugging you. So you know what our you know what our tradition is? Let's just gather our hearts now and come in prayer as we enter into worship. Oh God, your days are without beginning and without end. We dedicate this coming year to you. Give us such prosperity as you know is good for us. And make us abound in doing whatever is pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And guess what we're singing this morning? Because what else should you sing on New Year's Eve? But let there be peace on earth. And the words are up there to follow along.
My friends, the Savior is true and worthy of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save us, the sinners. Believe the good news. In Jesus Christ, our sins are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't know why Marion and I are the only ones that wear like crazy pants, but it's the Cognish Noir Sunday because guess what? We're singing this morning. All those Christmas hymns or carols that we didn't get a chance to. But before we do that, I invite you just to quiet your hearts one more time and listen to Ecclesiastes 3. Um, it is to everything this season. It seems appropriate for this New Year's Eve. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear, tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. That is the gift of God. And this is the word of God. Remember, how to say that. This is the word of the Lord. How's that? Thanks, Thanks God. God. There you go. And I know it has a name. We didn't get a name in the bulletin for your song. Oh, uh, this is Steve Don Merrily. Tell 
us, should we do one? Let's do one while you're looking. How about we do, good, what is it, number 98. Good Christian men rejoice. We're just going to sing a couple verses of each one. You don't have to stand either. How's that? Okay, yay. That's a good one. All right.
80 is what? Oh, I know she said 80. Okay. Somebody did say 80. A little time. Let's sing Hark the Herald Angels sing. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm Canadian today for some reason. I'm a little kind of Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. <laughs>
absolutely the best thing that should have happened. All along, that should have been the best thing. That is the plan now. So he welcomes texts and uh, you know phone message, phone calls. Maybe call before you go just to make sure it's not you know an hour before the pain meds because that would not be right <laughs> for him or you. Um, he's at St. Joe's, by the way. Um, I haven't heard an update about Phyllis Moore that she did have bronchitis. Um, Bill Olette is recovering from double pneumonia. Um, so oh. you can keep him in your care. That's why we haven't seen him for the last couple of weeks. Um, I, Bella Packer, our little friend Bella, um, need to go see her. Our, our pal Lynn um, is doing okay. Just continued prayers for her. And um, prayers for a very dear friend um, who is going to be on a very um, hard medical journey in the days to come. So you don't need to know. God knows who you're praying for. That's all that matters to you. And then, you know, hope my, my cousin ended up passing away on Thursday. So hope her family, the families, in your prayers. Prayers, I don't know the details of the movie. There's an organ donor for three three people who received her organs and then she went to Ann Arbor for skin, so there's even more. Um, so there's that. Anybody else have any prayers that you need today? Okay, Don. Just, just a praise for Don. He's oh. in rehab. We went and saw him and he looks well and Yay. Little stumbling blocks here and there, but it's it's going forward. Thank you for your prayer. Good, good, good to hear. Um, we're so happy to have Lorraine and, and Natalie here and we pray for Bill all the time and for you in your journey to grandson your retirement. Lorraine's retired. So
your good. Your steadfast love endures forever. We thank you for the blessings of the past year and for how you have stood with us and guided us in difficult times. We say thank you. Bless these offerings that they may be used to your glory and in service to others. In the name of your Son.